See, I have borderline personality disorder. It's a, a chaotic disorder. That's what I live with. I was really young. I got sick when I was 18. And um, I've been sick for four years now. And I'd kept going in and out of the hospital. And uh, my family were like, this is no good. This isn't working anymore, so. I just was poor and I didn't know where to turn to. If you don't have a place to live, you also don't have help. If, you, if you're on ODSP and you go into the hospital, they'll pay your rent for three months. But if you stay in the hospital longer than that, then you lose your place. And, you know, it's difficult because you're trying to get well and then you just lost your housing. A lot of them would still be in shelters, cycling from one shelter to the next, or actually living on the streets for many years. I, wanted, I didn't want to live anymore. And, uh, and uh, I found a reason to live. came here and... It was a really good thing. And the program itself, um, you know, the transitional program is in a big old house that is very much not an institution. Every day from morning to, from morning to night, they help me take my medication and they write it down saying that, you know, she took her medication, she's all right. You know, they really know how to counsel you and um, there's lots of humor with the staff. We see them as an individual, not as an illness. I would say I came from, from a place of wanting to sleep in bed all day, to sewing something, to going for Zumba classes. They really showed me that I could be a woman independently, living on my own. I started some schooling. I fit perfectly in society because of Margaret Fraser House. It made me feel like, you know, I'm worth somebody. I don't know. I don't know where I would be without having come to Margaret's. It was a, a good, positive part of my life. I met some good people.